For an easy conversion into an e-bike, you should buy a hub wheel kit. Let's continue converting to an e-bike with a hub drive kit. How to wire it all together. The motor is powered by a battery through a controller box. Your main concern, after power capacity, is safe storage. This is not a place to skimp or cut costs, even though the best ways may require metalwork you're not ready for. You need to keep the battery clean, insulated, and moisture free. Automotive connectors are all approved connection devices you can use. Find a good place to mount the battery. Locations include mounted against the front post, mounted on the middle post, hiding under a rear wheel package rack, or in a sidecar configuration for more batteries. The batteries are well encased and weatherproof. So be sure to dress all wiring to prevent moisture and insulation cracks or breaks that could expose power bearing wires. Ready to look at the parts needed to convert a bicycle into an e-bike? Here's the battery kit. The battery is sold separate from the conversion kit for user flexibility. This 48 volt, 11 amp hour battery takes just 5 hours to achieve a full recharge. This has an aluminum housing which protects its power cells. Panasonic power cells have an expected lifespan of over 800 charging cycles. So riders can expect years of use before a replacement of any of the internal cells will be required. This battery is compatible with 48 volt 750 watt and 48 volt 1000 watt electric bike hub drive wheels. As well as this 500 watt kit I'm using for this example. A standard e-bike battery like this includes Anderson electrical connection plugs. If you need to use a different style connector plug, all you do is remove the plug end and install the appropriate connector. The battery case is mounted by two screws into your bike frame that you will have to drill and thread. Otherwise a compression clamped plate can be used for mounting. Some frames may have screw holes already for mounting accessories like a water bottle, they may line up right for battery mounting. Be sure to mount by at least two points. Most people find this to be the hardest part of the whole upgrade procedure. This is the controller. The controller converts battery power to motor power. This will need to be mounted on the frame near the battery. After that the connections are all easy to figure out based on the plug connections. I like to cover the plugs with waterproof tape after the installation to add further protection from cables wiggling loose or water short circuits. Also use tape to keep the cables dressed and free from snagging on things. The wheel goes on next. Installing a hub motor wheel. First off you want to know your new e-bike wheel will fit to the width of the opening in your frame. Don't worry if the wheel diameter is 224 different from the new 26 inches mod wheel. Frames in this wheel size range should be compatible enough to use. There are just two basic standard widths for hub drive wheels, a larger clearance for mountain bikes 135mm, and the standard of road bikes like 10 speeds of 130mm. So measure the distance of the inside edges of the wheel slots. Now that you know if it will fit, it's time to install. Remove or open the brakes wide. Then simply bolt on the 26-inch 36V500W Enthusiast 7-speed rear wheel with brushless motor directly to the axle slots. Remember, all the drive force is focused on this point. So be absolutely certain the connection is tight and aligned parallel to the frame. Wiring and cables replaced to convert into an e-bike. Attach the control cable from the wheel to the controller box. Install the sensor to the hub and plug wire into the controller. Mount the display box and handlebar assemblies. Then plug the controller to the LCD display, and two handlebar motor and shifting controls. You may want to upgrade your brakes to disc brakes while you are doing this step. Otherwise, reinstall and adjust brake lines. It's an easy conversion from bicycle to e-bike when you use a hub wheel kit. Convert your regular bicycle into an e-bike. Now you know how you can convert your own bike into an e-bike. For this article, I have selected BikeBerry for inspiration and visual proof for my post's assertions. So if you want to show me some loving support, it would be best to discount shop for parts or buy a factory e-vehicle by using these affiliate links on Motivation Nation.